Hello, we're going to do an example of a calculation using the X-ray tube formula. Here's something I prepared earlier. According to Wikipedia, an X-ray tube can operate between 30 to 150 kilovolts. What is the F max of the X-ray released from the tube operating at 75 kilovolts, and what is its lambda? Remember that F max is the maximum frequency of the X-ray. Kilo means by 10 to the 3, and lambda is wavelength. So let's break it down. Key information here is you're looking for an F max, you're looking for a wavelength, and the operating voltage is 75 kilovolts. You can see here that I've written 30 to 150 kilovolts. That's an example of information that is not necessary for answering the question that's asked. The question that is asked is underlined. So the first thing you have to do is to start using uh, the relevant formulas. And um, this is uh, W is equal to Q delta V, W being energy. And that's the work done by the um, electric field to accelerate the electrons across. So you get the charge on an electron, which is 1.6 by 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, and times it by the voltage that it's going to be uh, accelerated across. So in this case, we've got the charge on the electron here, that's Q, we've got the voltage here, giving you the total kinetic energy of the electron arriving at the other side of the electric field being 1.2 by 10 to the negative 14 joules. And then we proceed to use this formula here. Energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. So if we assume that every joule uh, has been converted into an X-ray, i.e. we're talking about the electron being stopped in its tracks by a metal nucleus, then we can rearrange this formula to suit and use all the energy out of the W equals Q delta V to determine the maximum frequency of the X-ray itself. So knowing that the energy of the X-ray is going to be equal to the work done to accelerate the electron, we can now rearrange the formula. E equals HF max. We're calling it F max because it's the F maximum frequency X-ray. So the energy on Planck's constant will equal the maximum frequency. Knowing that Planck's constant is 6.63 by 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. If we follow through on the calculation here, then we get the figure 1.81 by 10 to the 19 hertz. And that is the frequency of the X-ray. Now, of course, the frequency is not the wavelength. So you've got another step here. And we're using the formula, the speed of light is equal to frequency times wavelength. The speed of light in a vacuum is 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we want to determine the wavelength, so we need to rearrange the formula. Hence, the speed of light over the frequency equals the wavelength. So we've got 3 by 10 to the 8, divide 1.81 by 10 to the 19, which is our answer from the previous slide. And uh, you're going to end up with the amount, which is 1.66 by 10 to the negative 11 meters. However, if you have a look at orders of magnitude, you'll see that 10 to the negative 12 is pico. So you could actually represent it as 16.6 .6 picometers. However, this answer here is perfectly acceptable to get full points.